In this lesson, we'll be looking at parabolas. Um, those are second degree equations. And I've got two examples, two different ways that parabolas can be written. Um, one, in example one, is the general form, the ax squared plus bx plus c. And as an example, I have the y equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 3. To find the vertex when it's in this form, we use the formula h equals negative b over 2a. In our problem, it's written in descending powers, so our a is 3, our b is 6. And so you can just plug in the numbers, negative 6 over 2 times 3. And the end result for h is negative 1. To find the k value of the vertex, you substitute in the number negative 1 back into the equation, and then just do arithmetic to solve for k. And so when we do that, we end up seeing that our k value for this one is negative 6. So our vertex for the first example is at negative 1, negative 6. And the other thing that we note is if a is a positive number, and in this case if a is greater than 0, the parabola opens upward. If a is less than 0, the parabola opens downward. For our Example number one, our parabola has an a value of three, so it opens upward, which means we have a minimum point for the vertex. Our minimum value, though, is just the k value. So in this case, our minimum value is equal to negative six. For the second example, this one's written in standard form. Our a value is automatically identified as negative 3. Since it's in this form, we can tell by shifting where the vertex is. Looking inside the parentheses tells us a shift of left or right. And in this case, if it's negative 1, it's a shift right one unit. And the plus 5 outside tells us a shift of up or down. And since it's positive, it goes up 5 units. So our vertex here is located at positive 1, positive 5. The negative indicates that our parabola opens downward. So the point that we have here is actually a maximum point. And our maximum value then, again, is just our um, k value. So our maximum value is 5. Now knowing the maximum and minimum also helps us with our range. Our range for the second function <coughs> is the lowest y value up to the highest y value. Our lowest y value is negative infinity since it opens downward. Our highest y value is 5. The range for the first example would be from our minimum value of negative 6 all the way up to infinity. So our range for this one then would look like this, from negative 6 all the way up to infinity. Okay. <clears throat> Some other features of the parabola are the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry cuts the parabola in half. And the axis of symmetry always has the equation x equals whatever the h value was of the vertex. So on our example number one, the axis of symmetry would be x equals, and our h value in that one was negative one. For example two, our axis of symmetry would be x equals, and then our h value there was positive one. You can also look for y-intercepts. Those are the easiest intercepts to find. What you do is you let x equal 0 and then solve for y. So in our first example, plugging in a 0 for x, we'll just zero out those first two terms. And our y-intercept then is at negative 3, or the coordinate 0, negative 3. For our second example, um, again, we go back in, let x equal 0, and then 
do arithmetic to figure out what the value is. So order of operations, do what's inside the parentheses first. Before you multiply these two numbers together, you need to square the negative 1. And then you can go ahead and multiply and then add the 5. So negative 3 plus 5 gives me positive 2. So this one has a y-intercept at 2, 0.